Let's go to Salem County. Here we go again. Another warehouse. Residents of a South Jersey town packing a public meeting late into the night to oppose a plan to build even more warehouses where they live. Steve, are you in Oldman's Township? Yeah, that is a little town between 130 and 295, and it used to be strictly a farm town, and a farm town with farm roads that were built wide enough only for tractors, but now tractor trailers rule as you're looking at right here. And if you're wondering why people are so upset about having big tractor trailer rigs going and coming to these big warehouses, well, look at Bill Farrell's driveway surveillance camera. My house vibrates. I have cracks in my walls. I have the old foundation. It can't take much more. Who's going to build my house when this is all over? And so you've been here 62 years. You were here before the first mega warehouses. What's life been like since the, all these warehouses have gone up that you already have? Terrible. I mean, I actually sit in my house, and it's sad. It's very, very sad. On a Sunday afternoon, just steady Amazon trucks going by. So Nancy was among the 100-plus residents that spent hours at the meeting last night. They did not get a final answer from the town leaders on whether this will be approved or not. So this company, Night Owl, wants to build nine new warehouses, more than 500 million square feet in those warehouses, over 600 farm acres they want to convert from farmland into industrial use land. So as you're looking now, you see a big Walmart warehouse that now goes way up above all the other houses. So Nancy Bond, as you heard, <laughs> moved here 62 years ago. She remembers when the high rises in town were the corn stalks come fall about eight feet high. Uh, she has had it and she says her house is crumbling before her eyes. She can't take any more. And I'm sure Bill Farrell is sick of seeing the end of his driveway. You saw that truck almost airborne trying to get over that boulder that he put out there to keep the guys from driving over his lawn. And then they just wanted to drive over that boulder. And you don't even mean to chuckle when you're thinking about it, but just as he said, what the heck are you doing? That was a good question because that's been happening repeatedly, not just to him, but to all the other homeowners around here. And can you imagine living in this beautiful, peaceful area and then just having these tractor trailers come night and day, 24 seven and adding even more uh, and as I say that, I see another uh, front rig of a tractor that probably just loaded off a trailer somewhere. So that is the big deal here. So they went from quiet to not so quiet. And Salem County has already been hit uh, with all the bad stuff. They get the nuclear plant, they get the prisons, they get the landfills, and now they get the warehouses. And these people down here, they don't have the political power, they don't have the political money, and they don't have the political population like all the other counties in New Jersey have, so they get stuck with all the bad stuff and they're sick of it. Alex, Mike. So what can be done? We don't go shop anymore in brick and mortar stores. We, it's probably my fault. I order a lot of stuff off Amazon <laughs> and they got to put it somewhere, I guess, but nobody wants it in their neighborhood. Quite the dilemma.